The city is my palace. What I'm gonna do? Cause I want she and she. Do I have a story for y'all? So it was this guy I was dating. Well, we were doing more than dating. He was my boyfriend. Um, we, He was supposed to hang out with me, I think it was Thursday. And he texted me early that morning and he said, hey, look, I can't come over because I don't have enough gas money to make it over there and make it to work um, until I get paid next week. So me being the loving and understanding girlfriend that I am, I said, it's okay, babe. I'll come to you. But then he says, well, you know, I live with my auntie and she doesn't like me having company over. And I'm like, okay. So I said, hey, look, I'll cash up you $30. Put it in your gas tank. Come over here. So he comes over, um, you know, and he's like, oh, I'm going to pay you back. I'm going to pay you back. And I'm like, don't worry about it. It's $30. You know, I'll pay to chill with you. It's not a big deal. So we have a good time. It, it was actually a very enjoyable interaction that we had that day. Um, but anyway, next week comes along and he finally gets paid. And it was this idea. He said, hey, let's go out to eat. Let's go on a date. We went to Applebee's. Y'all know how I feel about Applebee's. But anyway, you know, so we eat and everything and we get the check. The check is $40. I've already put a $10 tip down on the table. So he didn't even have to get a tip. This dude looked me straight in the eye and says, hey, look. My money is a little tight right now. Can you pay your half of the bill? It was at that moment, something clicked, and my inner woman started talking to me. And she said, bitch, this motherfucker ain't shit and don't look like he trying to be shit. It is time for you to release yourself. And I broke up with him a week later.